Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will show you how to improve your chess. Let's watch this video till end and believe me, you will be better and stronger chess player. Let's start. For example, e4 and knight to f6. And of course, even this is a well-known theory. Don't speak about theory, speak about this position. It's your move and what you will play here. And maybe you will tell me that you will take on d5. Of course, this is not bad move at all, but something here is missing. Black will take by knight and everybody is happy. But still, I'm sure that something is missing here. And now let's watch a different. For example, in the same position, white should play move e5. And that's, that's a different. Black's knight, black's position and black is under pressure. He need to find a good move. He will not play a simple move. He need to be careful and he need to show how he is a good chess player. Okay, he is under big pressure and that's a different. Uh, let's be aggressive, active chess player and let's take every chance to be active. Let's come back and I will show game Paul Murphy and James McConnell, 1849. And I hope that this game will show you the difference. Different between a weaker chess player and a stronger chess player. And watch this game till end. I'm sure that this game will help you to be better strong chess player. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free and press like, press follow and make my day. Thank you. Let's come back and welcome. Okay, first question. What do you think about move bishop to c4? And of course, if anybody from you will play bishop to c4, I will tell him that this move is okay. You are playing with another piece, maybe you are going for short castle and everything is okay. But something is missing here. You know, black is not under any pressure. It's okay, black should play anything what he like. Maybe he will play c6, d6, okay. But that's another way how to play chess. For example, move knight to c3 with first threat knight to d5. And of course, right now, black need to be careful. Of course, he need to be really careful and to check if this move, say threat, it's unpleasant to him or not. And black played move c6. Of course, he don't like to see this knight on d5. Okay, another time to speak about move bishop to c4. What do you think about this move right now? And still I will tell you, okay, this move is not bad at all. But I believe in aggressive chess. I believe that the difference between a stronger chess player and a weaker one, it's an in their difference in aggressivity activity and of course move d4 is much more aggressive because right now black need to solve first um, first hard move what to do with his pawn on e5 and black took on d4 of course i'm sure that this move is a mistake or is a weak move but okay he took how you will play this position Okay, my first or second uh, question to you. Are you going to take this pawn immediately? Again, this move is not bad at all. You should take on d4 by knight or by a queen and everything is okay. But the difference between you maybe and a stronger chess player, that stronger chess player believe in activity. and. If stronger chess player has a chance to be active, believe me, he will be active. So move e5 is absolutely stronger because, one more time, black is under pressure, he need to solve uh, on this issue, what to play. And of course, if he is under pressure, he doesn't have time to make us unhappy. He need to play something and he played this move. 
Okay, bishop to d3, it's much more stronger than to take pawn on uh, d4, because that's another time, another chance how to be more aggressive. Uh, black took on g2, and of course, our rook is under attack and everybody will play rook to g1. But that's not a simple move, that's aggressive move, and that's the best way how to play chess, that's the best way how to improve your chess, and just to be aggressive. Let's attack anything what you can attack, and believe me that you will improve your chess. Okay, and black played to h3, and that's another time to be active, rook to g3. Why not to be acta active? Why not to use another chance to be active? Okay, your move, your chance to be active. What you will play here? Maybe it's not a bad move at all just to take this pawn back. Of course, your knight is under attack. You are hung down. You need to do something with this um, material imbalance. But why not to be one more time active? Just take your chance and be more active. And I hope that you agree with me that this move is absolutely aggressive move and more active. So, okay, rook g5 happened and another time to be active, bishop to f5 or bishop to f1. Paul Morphy played bishop to f1. I'm sure that more active or aggressive will be bishop to f5 because um, bishop on f5 is much more stronger than on f1. Okay, but nevertheless, uh, white played bishop to f1 and now we should take this pawn. I hope that you see the difference. You have too many chances to take this pawn, but the difference is to take this pawn in the right time. White took and black played to e7. It's your move, it's your chance to show yourself that you are improving chess player and you are searching for aggressive move. Of course, maybe you will play move like f4, bishop to e3 and at the end these moves are not bad at all. But as I told you in the beginning of this video, something is missing, hot is missing. Spicy moves are missing and uh, knight to e4 looks to me like the most aggressive move. This threat is of course a huge threat. And move by move, threat by threat, I'm sure that you have the right feeling that black is under bigger and bigger pressure. That's what's going on. That's exactly how stronger chess playing players are thinking. They like to push his opponent to corner. They like position when their opponents are under pressure. And of course, Paul Morphy played this move, uh, h6. Uh, right now, Paul Morphy made a blunder. He played move knight to f5. And I will give you two seconds to find the reason why this move is a blunder. Of course, he is a check to b4, and because two white uh, pieces are under attack, that means white will lose one of them. That's unfortunately true that we need to be careful. Even if we are in a winning position, we need to be careful and don't play fast. You are in the winning position, you need to be careful. Take your time. Play slowly and be sure that you are winning. Uh, of course, a uh, much more stronger move here. It uh, was maybe root to f5. But nevertheless, uh, this move happened. And of course, here is a check. Take, check, and you are on move. You are white. And of course, you have the right feeling that everything is going well. What do you will play if your rook is under attack? And of course, rook is rook. Maybe you will take on g7. 
No, it has a bone check, and here you will lose a rook. Or maybe you will take back. Ah, oh, that's not nice. That's not aggressive move. Yes, of course. Maybe you will play here, and I'm sure that this move looks great. Sure, maybe you are winning here. But still, let's be more aggressive chess player and let's find a stronger move. What do you think here? What a white will play? And I'm sure that you agree with me that this move is, is a good one. You know, you are going again and again attack black screen. Okay, this move happened. So, check is okay. And it's your time, you are white. And let's prove that you learn something, that you are a stronger chess player. And let's prove that you are stronger. And your rook is under attack. And maybe still you believe that you should take this pawn. Absolutely, I agree. That's okay. But much more stronger is check on d6. Why? Because now is the right time to improve your calculation skills. And let's speak about this position, what you will play here. Still, your rook is under attack, but you know that this piece is the most important black piece, and this piece is in heavy danger. So let's be more aggressive. And I'm sure that you are. Maybe shoot to e3, c5, check. Uh, what's going on if black is going here? Yes, there is a checkmate in one, so that's nice. Uh, a rook to g3, of course. Here is a checkmate, and there is no way how to stop this checkmate. Okay, black played b5, and that's game over. What we saw? We saw exactly the best example how to be better chess player how to improve your chess, you know, believe in activity. And if you have chance to be active, just be more active. And that's my advice to you. You know, you should play better chess. It's everything up to you. And if you will be aggressive chess player, you will be better, stronger chess player. Okay. We are at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this video help, will help you to play better chess. And if you like this video, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope I will see you soon in our another YouTube chess video. Thank you. That's all for now. Bye bye.